Next uh, speaker is President and Managing Director of 3M Philippines to talk about designing innovation, a story of success built from failure. He has solid 14 years in 3M, held nine roles. Prior to his appointment in the Philippines, he was President and Director of 3M Global Services Channel in Minnesota, USA. Yon. Okay, ano pang... Hello, Natasha. What have you learned today? <laughs> Sabi ro kasi stretch. Eh. <laughs> no, but um, of course, a lot of, a lot of the speakers that uh, have joined us today uh, are really talking about... Uh, yung kanina, di ba, yung theme natin is no one left behind. And I think that uh, in the current day and age, to, to think that we're still talking about this challenge means that it has evaded the best minds throughout these years. And I think that uh, the emerging technology and new media is really one of our best allies when it comes to actually achieving those goals finally by 2030. Well, yeah. I also think that um, a, a lot of millennials, and I, I'm a millennial. I'm a mil Are you a millennial? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot. A lot of us have dreams like traveling the world and things that we want to do for ourselves. But um, increasingly, we're seeing that people have dreams that actually include other people and are inclusive, yeah, and yeah. that's inspiring. And I think, I think, and hopefully, that's a culture that we pass on. Um, that we think not just of personal dreams, but as mm -hmm. well as um, ways to improve society. All right, now I think he's ready. So once again, it's Colin, the president and managing director of 3M Philippines, Ariel Laksamana. Thank you. Thank you. That's cool. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Everybody had a good lunch? Awesome. So that means you're a little bit sleepy at this point, but you were inspired, right? I was in the audience earlier, and normally I have a different introduction here, but I had to acknowledge how inspiring that was for the Rappler team. You know, I, I've been away from the Philippines for 22 years. I am born and raised here, and rediscovering my own country has really been a good experience and some bad, but what's great is groups like this, people like you that actually start making a difference for our country planning for the lives that you want to have, that we want to have, for the country that we really like, right? Normally, there's a Q&A for my sections when I do these talks. I've been told there's no facilitation for you to ask questions, but if you're brave enough to shout your question, I'm willing to answer them, all right? Okay, so I am Ariel Laksamana. I am the first Filipino managing director and president of 3M Philippines. I am proud of that because, oh, thank you. I got the clap right there, woo-hoo. <laughs> Don't worry, wasn't soliciting, but thank you. Uh, part of what I share that with you is because I also grew up in this country. Now, I've been away for 22, as I mentioned to you, but moving to the US, having traveled to over 45 of our different subsidiaries, I've seen how good our talent is here in the Philippines. You don't know how proud I am about the Filipino people until you probably sit down with me over coffee or a meal. Because I do try to make sure we mentor people, even my team, to encourage you to take risks, right? We are a company, 3M is a company that's built on taking risks. So how many of you are afraid of failing? No, just a quick raise of hands. Afraid of failing? Wow, nobody's afraid of failing? That's cool. So very brave. Oh, just a few there, right? So very brave people. I used to be that way too. I was afraid of failing. In fact, in college, I started up 10 businesses. 10 businesses. Three of them were successful with me and my friends. Seven were failures. And from there, I thought, wow, that's not a good batting average, at least back then. Fast forward to today, I'm more learned it's like, wow, one in 100 is the success rate of startups. So three out of 10 wasn't so bad, right? That's why I'm encouraging you. Today, what you've learned in the last three days, and even today, start your business. Even if you have work, start your business, right? That's, I also encourage employees that we have at 3M Philippines to do. Now, failure is never the end of the story, so I'm gonna go back to my actual presentation. Failure is never the end of the story, and that's actually a theme that we encourage at 3M. It's not encouraging failure, but encouraging to take risks, 
encouraging not to be afraid of failure. Because from failure, you can learn, you can move on, and you can share your experience so other people learn from you. And that's what we encourage, because failure is only failure pag hindi ka natuto, di ba? So, pag nadapa ka, dapat tumayo ulit, right? So that's what we're trying to do, is make sure people learn from their mistakes, but they're not afraid to make mistakes. That they learn quick, and they learn on the cheap, right? And we do that internally. 3M is actually a company built on such failure. In 1902, 115 years ago, we were a mining venture. We were a mining venture. Five people thought to mine in northern Minnesota this mineral called corundum. And corundum is, kung may geologists just the audience, they're probably going, yes, yes, I know that, I know that. But corundum is a very hard mineral. You put it in grinding wheels, so you can make a lot of money out of corundum. So this five business venture uh, people thought, hey, let's mine this in the northern part of Minnesota. Unfortunately, when they took a sample of this mineral, they only took it from a six square meter type of area, and they found it. So they bought all the acreage around, right? all the land around. Unfortunately, the mineral was just at that area. So bad luck, right? So now they did find other minerals, but it was too soft. It wasn't good for grinding wheels. So at that point, there was a decision they had to make. Do they close up shop, you know, liquidate their assets, or do we find something, something useful, something good that society can actually use in this world, right? Good thing their bookkeeper, William McKnight, was brave enough to say, you know, I have faith that we need to create jobs in this state, and we need to stay with that commitment, so let's find a way to do this. The invention that came out of that, any guesses from mineral? No guesses? Sandpaper. Exactly, see, now I get that same reaction. Wow, sandpaper, yes. So if you Google it up right now, You'll see 3M is accredited for inventing sandpaper, and the first one that the, the, the market really liked is in 1921, a wet or dry sandpaper. That was important because back then, the auto industry was just booming. And to do finishing, to do uh, the, the rough edges of vehicles, you know, you really had to sand it before painting. And Back then, sandpaper that was used was made out of seashells and, and glass, so it, it would cut workers' hands, which is bad, and it wouldn't have a consistent finish, and it'll clog when it's wet. Well, wet or dry, as it implies, was the sandpaper that we invented, and that's how the company started, right? Fast forward to today, we're a $30 billion company operating in 175 countries around the world. So we started from a failure, from sandpaper, right? From there, we didn't stop innovating. Because if your only product, papil diliha lang, you're not going to survive, especially now with China being cheaper in sandpaper. Right? So if you look at the three components of sandpaper, we have a mineral, we have paper or some type of film, and then glue to put it all together, right? If you take away the mineral, then you're left with paper and glue. That's tape, right? So another product of 3M is tape. And then you take away the paper, you're left with just glue. So our third largest business at 3M is adhesives. So you got abrasives, film, and adhesives that are our basic technologies in the company. And we didn't stop there. You know, one of the things we encourage in the company is what we call a 15% culture. So coming back to the Philippines, meeting with my team at 3M Philippines, this is something that's prevalent in many of our subsidiaries, but we kind of forget it when we're too busy. So that's part of my encouragement to my team. Use 15% of your time to do anything you want, anything, as long as it's legal and it doesn't hurt people. Those were, <laughs> those were two of my tenets there. 
But these are two examples of inventions that we did from the 15% of people's time. Here in the Philippines is one of the, I think it's the only country when I go through immigration, they ask me, who do you work for? Uh, 3M. Oh, 3M Tint. It's like, wow. You know, normally I get post-it, scotch tape, but here, 3M Tint. So very proud. And that's, that's actually the invention right there. That tint was invented by one of our scientists from 15% of his free time. It was a birth of his concern when they were driving on the West Coast in California and his children was exposed to sunlight, got burned and says there's probably a better way, a better way to protect using our technology, a better way to protect people, especially with this trend of new automotive. So he invented the film, right? And now you're benefiting from that. That's the tint. Even the sandpaper that we talked about, that's the one there. Those are abrasive discs, right? Who could have imagined you can reinvent sandpaper? And we as a company reinvented it three times. So that's, that's pretty awesome. And now at the micro level, those granules look like pyramids. And every time it cuts off, the next pyramid layer is there and it's sharper. That comes from an idea of an entrepreneur inside our company. That comes from their own personal time, not from a formal program in the company, okay? We didn't stop there. We are a company with 46 technology platforms now. We have over 24 businesses grouped into about five business groups. You're very familiar with our consumer products, Post-it, Scotch Tape, and for those of you who love being in the kitchen, Scotch Bright, right? <laughs> I used to do that too. Yeah, so Scotch Bright is, uh, is good, but that's actually our smallest business group. Many of the products we have, many of the technologies we introduce in the world are unbeknownst to you or sometimes invisible, right? Many of you probably have smartphones because I was told the Philippines is the second largest user of Facebook in the world. That is so awesome, keep it up. But you look at this, if you have a smartphone and it has a colored screen, more than likely that's a 3M film, right? If your smartphone is less than a quarter of an inch thick, more than likely we have 25 components over there. So we contribute to a lot of technology and not just high-tech technology, I'll show you some examples later. But if you're driving a car, Toyota, BMW, Lamborghini, right? They actually share technologies with 3M, so the, the electronic connectors in there, the insulation in the cars, the, uh, the films are made by 3M. If you're familiar with the company Tesla, you know, Tesla has a lot of sensors in their cars. So the windows, they're very strict on which film comes in contact with that window. They have so many sensors, it can't have any metal. So the only film that they actually authorize to put on the Tesla is 3M film, because it has no metal, right? Now we're working with them, this is public information, we're working with them to improve their fuel cell technology. So we're helping that and that end. So we're actually helping companies, and that's the typical question I get. One is, what do we do? So that's the 46 technology platforms, and the second is, how do we solve problems and improve lives? And we don't do it just on our own. We heard earlier that you need to give feedback, not only to your companies, to your colleagues, to the government, but that's how we also solicit inventions. We work with you. We work with consumers. We work with your companies. We go actually out into the market to see what issues need to be solved. And then we invent. We collaborate, that's the third component out there. Our people, we encourage a collaborative culture. We have over 90,000 employees around the world, right? Here in the Philippines, we will have by the end of this year close to 500 in total among our two entities. We have a sales and marketing one and we have our B BPO, internal BPO here in 3M Philippines. We just opened that 
last year in March, and we're creating jobs, probably hiring up to 800 people in total by the end of next year. So that's pretty awesome. But the good news is, normally in BPOs, there's a high turnover rate. At 3M Philippines, our turnover rate is less than 8%. And you're asking, why? Don't worry, we don't bribe them. But <laughs> it's the career path, the career path that they see that, the, that we offer, because we are a collaborative culture, where you just don't stop at the BPO area. If you have an interest of going into sales and marketing, we have a sales and marketing organization. And if you want to take that risk, we'll train you. That's the difference in culture, that coming from the U.S., normally, if you get promoted, you want to know that job before you get promoted. Well, the good news is, as an American company, we don't really do that. We invest in you. If you want to take that risk together with us, we invest in you. And that's why we've kept the turnover rate pretty low. And by the way, this technology is open to you. We realized how important it is to educate the Filipino people on what solutions are out there already. You know, about a couple of months ago, I think in June, we were with the Mind Museum and we brought students from Iligan, 12 students from Iligan, from their inventions. And it was inspiring to see how creative they were. When we toured them in our innovation center, and we have about 53 of those around the world, we have one here in the Philippines. They said, sir, it should, have been, it should have been done about a couple of, maybe a year ago. Then our invention would have been better. So that's what we're doing now. We're reaching out to schools, not just in Metro Manila, but in the provinces, in Davao, in Cebu, and actually I'm taking a trip up north to Isabela. That'll be an adventure. Uh, just because we're reaching out to these schools. So I'll show you a little clip of what's available to you here in the Philippines. Cool. Well, thank you. That's here in BGC. So if you want to collaborate with us, you want to explore more technologies that would be available to you to start your business or enhance what you already have, just let us know. Our chief brand officer is right there, Rika Kamibayashi. You can reach out to any of us, any of our employees, and we'll schedule a tour for you or your company or colleagues, right? Because we're trying to encourage innovation in the country. And in innovation, as you heard from our previous speaker, that's already off the shelf. 
we actually collaborate with the Singularity University. That was actually a very neat trivia. I just met with their CEO in February because uh, we're trying to connect during his trip here into the Philippines. So it's, it's pretty cool how small the world is now with technology, and this is available to you. I'm giving you a couple of examples that I hope we can also do in the Philippines. This is an invention of 3M India. And when we talk about innovation, it doesn't have to be complicated. This one was actually a mop, right? Because clean floors are very important in India. And by the way, a little trivia, we've come full circle. The, one of the inventors of this used to be a STEM, a science, technology, education, and math student of ours. And now full circle works in the lab of 3M India. So we've sponsored these things in other countries that we'd like to do here in the Philippines. And this invention was done because one, the team wanted to make sure that from the neighboring garment industry, the waste was reduced and also be able to create more jobs. So this is the perfect trifecta. They actually invented a new pattern, a new way of cleaning floors, created jobs, and reduced waste in the environment. That was pretty awesome. So I'm hoping we can do that in the Philippines. These are other examples. We, I told you about the car having masking tape, right? Because you take out the mineral, you get the tape. That's what we have. The last innovation that I'll probably share with you is our broom. That's a local innovation, right? So look for it that, uh, out there and tell me what you think, because that's truly another one where we w talk with customers, talk with consumers, and work with you. So hopefully we've given you enough to work with. We are a company that uses our technology, products, and innovation to advance companies, enhance homes, and improve lives and work hoping that we can work together to really improve the lives of the Filipinos. All right, thank you, and hopefully you're encouraged to do business. Cheers. <laughs>